What up YouTube, Topaz Ace back for another album review, and this one is to that Gucci Mane, Mr. Davis, and I'm gonna give this one the yellow light because as you listen to it musically, you realize it's just another Gucci Mane album, which he's dropped a ton of these, it's like a whole lot of trap rap all the way through, nothing really amazing about it, but when you think about it promotional wise and such man, you realize that this is like the perfect storm of everything coming together for Gucci Mane to the point that if this project doesn't go straight up platinum and all that, it may ultimately be a disappointment because you gotta look at everything man, look at the features here, like he's usually having a good amount of features on his projects but yet these features that Gucci Mane goes out and get, it's usually the new artists that he got coming up that he's working with, that he's trying to help put on and all that, but he's going in a different direction here by going out and getting some big, well-known acts out there right now in The Weeknd, who does a completely different type of sound than what he's usually trying to get. Then you got Ty Dolla Sign, then you got Big Sean, you got a bunch of people that has different types of genres that they go at, but yet he went after these individuals to become a bigger act in the music industry because Gucci Mane has been the biggest trap rapper for quite some time you did, but yet when he got out of prison a while ago, he's been making a big attempt to become one of the biggest musicians, period, in this game by going out getting individuals like Drake and he got Nicki Minaj on this and all of that, man, which is very smart, but then you tie that in with some of the content that you got on here where there's one of the biggest beef battles that happened so far this year in Remy Ma, Nicki Minaj, and Gucci Mane happened to have one of the verses up on here. Also look at the whole song that he got with the Migos on here where the Migos have come up with Gucci Mane and all of that man, but yet they did a song, Bad and Bougie, and this song sounds eerily similar to Bad and Bougie, and it seems as though people were really rocking with that. And then on top of that, look at what he did with his whole wedding that everybody, I'm sure, you've seen, even if you didn't, like, watch it on BET or anything like that. Think about it, man. In this day and age where everybody is so involved in love and hip-hop and all of that, to the point that one of the hottest rappers in the game right now in Cardi B came up out of love and hip-hop, for him to have his wedding in which he went completely all out ridiculous for man spending all kinds of money for his wedding and having that on BET and all that man this is him having everything coming together at the same time that he's dropping this album but the thing that makes this interesting is it's answering a bit of a question right here dude like how is it Kanye West can continue to ascend up with his celebrity and continue to climb up even though like his music ain't that much better than anybody else's and such man while Gucci Mane he kind of has remained consistent throughout his career like he got his fan base his audience in the trap rap and really doesn't take him much higher than that but yet he's found his way to profit ridiculous off of that like how is that possible and how could this project right here not help him ascend to levels in which Kanye did. And there would be one thing in here that I would say actually is working against Gucci Mane because Kanye West, not a great musician all the way around. He does deliver some really good music from time to time, man. But the thing that Kanye West has on his side is unpredictability. Like, when you hear a Gucci Mane album, you pretty much know what you are expecting out of the Gucci Mane album. Like, you're going to hear a lot of trap rap. Like, pretty much the music as you hear today is all based off of Gucci Mane and what he was doing way back in the day. He's like the godfather of trap rap right now, and he's going to benefit off of it. But then, when you look at a guy like Kanye West, you have no clue what his new album album is going to be. So therefore, individuals are like, we have to hop on this immediately or else we're going to miss it. And that's something right here. If this album doesn't take completely off, like I'm sure Gucci Mane wants it to be, then it may be time for him to flip up some things, man. And I know a lot of music fans really don't like to hear that, but that's just the reality of music, you did. When you become predictable, people really start looking at your projects like, yeah, I could pass on this one because I know what it sounds like and I can go ahead and get the next one. And then you end up just forgetting about an individual all the way around. But honestly, there's only three songs off of this project that I actually really like that I'm going to continue to rock with that I saved on my spot. 
Spotify list and all that, man. Starting with that We Ride, where, of course, coming into this whole Gucci Man project, you're not going to get strong lyricism. You really are just hoping for strong production and overall quality music with him talking about some real stuff. And that We Ride is him going in on people that's going to stand by your side no matter thick and thin that'll hold you down and this is him dedicating it to his woman and all that that he's marrying to which that was pretty cool i like that miss my woes where this is him dedicating this song to his homies that are dead and the ones that are in jail and what's crazy is we know a lot of these names that he's talking about because you know he's that affiliated but he's talking about the dead homies as in bankroll fresh slim duncan shorty low and the fact that he got super strong production man it comes off as overall easily one of the best songs off this project and really the last song off of this that I really like was that members only because this is him just sticking to what he does best all the way that completely trap rap right here man that got some pretty good bounce to it as what he's ultimately talking about as in the members as people in the underworld who's out here doing things whether you selling drugs you being a gangster all of this stuff man in which I love the bounce to it I love the beat that's really what he does best even though he is venturing in a bunch of different areas with the features it still overtly comes off as somewhat of the same project all of the other songs really faded on me rather quickly man and that's why I'm giving this joint a 5 out of 10 but a quick recap here, man. The pauses that I'm taking from this is the promotion because if he cannot become the biggest name in music based off of this, man, then honestly, he needs to change up, as I said in the earlier review. But yet the negatives is, it's just another Gucci main project, man. Nothing really phenomenal about it outside of how he promoted it, how he's trying to get his name bigger. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to downloadpass.com that's down there to read today's article.